G'day, Warbles on a lot to YouTube. Later on, same night, but it's now 27 degrees here in the hut. And I've had a bowl of soup, and the place is now nice and comfy warm. Not only is the jumper off, but the shirt's off as well. Down to a t-shirt. A little miniature pot belly is doing its thing. Yeah, isn't that an interesting view? So let's have a little bit of a movie about the ethical use of the dislike button. It's a tricky thing, isn't it? Like, what if somebody makes a video on a topic that you're not comfortable with, or perhaps they're espousing a viewpoint that you don't agree with, but they really believe in what they're doing, and they do a really, really neat job, technically, with lots of enthusiasm, and they tell their story well. Are you justified in hitting them with a dislike just because you happen to disagree with their point? Now, I don't think you are. I personally have two kids. I've uploaded videos of what great people they are. The fact that my two children, both of them, are nicer people, happier, better adjusted emotionally and intellectually and in terms of maturity than either I was or their mother was at their age. That makes me feel pretty happy about having kids, you know, like I'm glad I'm a parent. So I've seen a lot of anti-natalist videos that I disagreed with and a whole bunch of them I've given a like to because they were well done and the people who made them believed in what they were doing and they weren't being nasty about it, right? Some people might put up a video really well made about something that I think was deplorable, like Hitler's concentration camps. Do I give them a dislike because I don't like concentration camps? Do I give them a dislike because I don't like Nazis? No, I don't. I give them a like because they've told the story well. Okay? So... This afternoon, before I went to town, on my video scroll, there were no dislikes on the first page. Nobody had disliked any of the first ten movies on my page. When I got home, had a bit of a look. Ooh, somebody's put a dislike up there. Checked a bit closer. There was one dislike on every one of the first seven movies on my scroll. Well, top seven movies on my scroll. Most recent seven movies on my scroll. And they were on totally different topics, you know, like one was on hand-powered washing machines, one was on kangaroos learning to eat bread by watching karawongs, three were on a rock concert, you know, one was a campfire in the day, one was a campfire at night, and one was fire dancers. So there's there's nothing linking those dislikes apart from the fact that all seven of them happened within a four hour period. Seven different movies on different topics. And the common factor is I made all the movies. So we've got a case where somebody does not like me. And it doesn't matter what I say. It doesn't matter what the movie's about. That person is just going to sit there and go dunk, 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 dunk on the dislike button. That to me is an unethical, immoral, selfish use of the dislike button. And there is not a damn thing I can do about it. Alright? I accept it is one of the risks of being on YouTube. For reasons which make sense to themselves, people who do not like me may choose to sit there and throw handfuls of shit, no matter what I say. 
That's YouTube. All right? I'm not interested in finding out who did it. I'm not interested in tracking them down and stalking them and putting dislikes on their movies because I am not an asshole. I'm prepared to allow other people to be assholes. That is their privilege. It is a free will universe. You want to be an asshole? Go out there and fight with the cosmic scoreboard effect. The great wheel of karma. The fates. It doesn't matter what philosophy or religious discipline you want to play with. Even atheists generally tend to wake up to themselves and admit that what goes around comes around. And if you've gone out there and put seven dislikes on my videos because I am me, then somebody will come and return that favour to you sevenfold without me having to do anything about it. Right? 90% of the fun in revenge lies in thinking about it beforehand. 10% of the fun in revenge lies in actually performing the, the act, in doing it, in taking the revenge. After which you've got no fun at all. All there is, is waiting for the consequences. Living in fear of what's going to happen to catch up to you because you know you've done the wrong thing. Because vengeance is mine, saith the Lord, and I am not the Lord and neither are you. So if you don't like my stuff, don't watch it. If you don't like my stuff and you want me to be aware of your viewpoint, leave a comment. Putting a dislike on each of the top seven videos on my clip, that just sort of makes me feel sorry for you because whoever you are, you have no functional way of communicating. All you can do is throw shit. And that's my point of view. Speaking as the fool on the hill, the mad scientist, the hillbilly hermit. How would it be if everybody thought just like I do? I'd be a fool to think any different. Ciao.